lesson we're going to be learning how to calculate exchange rates using linear demand and supply equations. Something we need to know about exchange rates is that they are essentially just prices and that prices in a market economy are always determined by supply and demand. Therefore the price of a currency or the currency's exchange rate is determined by the interaction of the demand for that currency and the supply of that currency. In an earlier lesson we outlined who the demanders and suppliers of currency in a forex market are. So we're not going to go into those details in this lesson. What I wish to focus on today is how we can calculate a currency's exchange rate if we know the demand and supply equations for that currency. The currency we're going to be looking at in this video is the US dollar in India. In our graph on the right we've got the Forex market for US dollars in India on which we're going to graph the supply and demand curves for US dollars. We have the vertical axis which is labeled exchange rate and we can add to that by indicating that the value of a US dollar in India will be expressed in terms of rupees. So the values here are rupees per dollar. On the left here we have the equations representing the demand for dollars and the supply of dollars in India. So we can assume that the daily demand and supply of dollars in billions in India is expressed using these equations. QD equals 300 billion minus 4 times the price and the price in this case represents the exchange rate and the quantity supplied of dollars equals negative 100 plus 6 times the price. And again, the price here represents the exchange rate. So these equations can be used to determine the equilibrium exchange rate of US dollars in India expressed in terms of rupees. And to find that, all we have to do is set the two equations equal to each other. We'll do that now. To find the equilibrium exchange rate, we set 300 minus 4P equal to the supply of dollars, which is negative 100, plus 6p. We can solve this by moving the 100 over here. We get 400. And by moving the 4p over here, and that equals 10p. Divide both sides by 10. And we see that the price of the US dollar in India is 400 divided by 10, or 40 rupees. So we can say that one US dollar in India costs 40 rupees. The exchange rate in rupees per dollar is 40. We can now plot the demand and supply curves for US dollars in our graph on the right. To do that, we must find a couple points on this graph. We need to know the Q intercept of demand. In other words, where does the demand curve cross the quantity axis? And that is, in fact, 300, the A variable in our equation. So I can put that point right here. We should also know the p-intercept of demand to know where our demand curve crosses the vertical axis, the price axis. To do that, we can set quantity demanded equal to 0 and solve for p. So we can do 0 equals 300 minus 4p. Move the 4 over here. We've got 4p equals 300 and divide both sides by 4. The price at which the demand curve crosses the vertical axis is 75 rupees. So I can put a point right here, representing my p-intercept of demand. All I have to do now is connect these points, and I've got my demand curve. Let's now plot the supply curve for dollars in India. We can start by finding the p-intercept of supply. I can set my qs equal to 0 and solve for p. So 0 equals negative 100 plus 6 times the price. Move the 100 over here, 100 equals 6p, and divide both sides by 6. The price intercept of supply for dollars in India is 100 divided by 6, which is 16.67 rupees. So at a price of 16.67 rupees, our supply curve will begin. That's right around here on my graph. Now to find a second point in our supply curve, all I need is the equilibrium exchange rate. I know that at equilibrium supply equals demand, so therefore there's a second point on my supply curve right here at 40 rupees where it crosses the demand curve 
now I can plot my supply curve. I've now got the supply of dollars in India and the demand for dollars in India with an equilibrium exchange rate of 40 rupees per dollar. The equilibrium quantity I haven't calculated yet, but I can estimate it at around 140, 130 billion dollars demanded and supplied in the market for US dollars in India. Let's go ahead and calculate the equilibrium quantity by plugging our equilibrium exchange rate into either the demand or supply equation. So I can do QD equals 300 minus 4 times 40. So the quantity demanded and supplied, call that Q equilibrium, equals 300 minus 160, which is 140 billion dollars in this case. And sure enough, that is what I can see from my graph here. So $140 billion per day, this market is in equilibrium. So we've just shown how to calculate equilibrium exchange rate using linear supply and demand equations and how to plot the demand and supply curves on a graph in a Forex market. Now I want to walk through a couple of scenarios that could cause a change in the equilibrium exchange rate in the market for dollars in India. Here we go.